Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and what we're going to do today is we're going to do some masking and let's get a motion project started. Let's click on open. So here we are. The first thing to do is to put on something that we want to have behind the mask. So let's just grab a bit of video there and drag it and drop it in there. And there we go. We've got some video in there now. it will do for a start. Now the next thing to do is to add some text on there. So let's put some text on there. Let's click on this button here and start typing some text. So we've got it on there and now we've just got to size it up and put it where we want it to be. So let's uh, click off that for the moment. Let's get my uh, digital book. Let's move this and put it in the middle. We can use the guidelines to center it up. OK, there you go. Let's just put it slightly above center. And I think what we'll do as well, we'll just uh, stretch it out a bit so it fills the space a little bit better. OK, so there's our text that we're going to have on the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that there or, or do a two finger tap on the trackpad, come down to the blend mode and set the blend mode as stencil alpha. That's starting to work already. That's OK, but say we want a different colour background. So let's do some changes there. So we've got another group here below the group containing the text. And to that we're going to add a solid colour. So select this group here and we're going to add a rectangle on there. So there's a rectangle and let's just uh, change the colour of it. Let's go to the inspector and change the colour to something else. Let's go for uh, let's go for a purple. Why not? I'll go for purple. We're still not showing through. OK, so let's go back to group one. Let's get this here and change the blend mode to normal. So we've got the colour of the main area there, which is in this purple colour. And then we've got the video showing through the text below. So let's just play that and see how it looks. So now we've got things happening. So that's how you can have some masking happening with the, uh, the text there being the mask. And also what we could do with this here is we could um, change the uh, colour. So instead of a colour there we could have a gradient. So we've got a gradient in there now. Let's uh, have a look at what other gradients we've got. We've got uh, burnt timber. A bit too dark, isn't it? Let's go for a different one. OK, so that's one way of doing it. Let's move this out of the way. Or a new one. So let's go to Motion. Click on Open. So this time we're going to do it a little bit different way. OK, so let's put our video in there, first of all, into a Group 1. So we're going to add a... Let's add an image mask. So now we've got an image mask on there. That's good. Now what I'll we'll do is have a text layer. So let's put a text layer on there now. So there's our text layer. Let's get that. Let's go to the inspector. Change it a little bit there. So let's make the size a bit bigger. We'll put it center aligned. Let's move it into the center a bit. Let's extend it upwards. And let's change the line spacing so it's a little bit less. OK, so there we got it all sized up, our text layer. Now what I want to do is I want to take this text layer and drop it onto the image mask. How about that then? So we've got now our mask and it's showing the video through the bottom there. So let's just move this over to the start. Press play. And we've got things happening. But it's in black at the background and we want a different colour there. So let's just stop that there for the moment. And what I'm going to do is go to the project and in the project properties we're going to change that so the colour of the background is going to be a different colour. So I can change it and let's have it that colour, nice little green colour. So this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and what I've done there is I've just shown you a couple of different ways of creating masks using text. A couple of more things that we can do with Motion 5. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.